Oh, it's so engaging. <laughs> oh, that's how you say that. Thank you. <laughs> Uh, welcome to Good Mythical More. Um, you, <laughs> There's three different ways you can say it. You know, you know why uh, we're doing this? Because we got bigger fish to fry. There's orange fish. Now listen. Oranges to peel. Oh, we got four of these each. Now I'm and not gonna. I'm only gonna peel one of these perfectly in order to win this I'm contest. So excited about having four each. Well, because the other three I'm taking home, and I'm gonna continue to shower orange. <laughs> Like, I don't wanna give up on it. That's my thing, is that. Look at that. You didn't even try it at home, man. I, I'll try it again. I, I, I'll try it again. I don't wanna sell it short. They call these navel oranges. Well, don't put them. There's only one navel, man. <laughs> they call that's, them navel oranges. That's, well, that, that would be nipple oranges, man. That's well, a why, totally you, why are you holding two of them? But just, I wanted people to be able to see them on the camera there. Because because one's an Audi and one's an any, and this, oh. it, it, this is why they call them navel oranges because it looks like a person's navel. And some people some people do have a, a navel like that. And let me if you got a navel like that, you should just do this. You should just <laughs> you should just pop it right off. Just like you should that. Just, <laughs> just there you go. <clears throat> Come over to my house now. Um, Bring a knife. Uh, we're gonna see who can peel the perfect orange. Now you sh we shouldn't use a knife for this. Yeah, you, you do, you, well, what we're trying I to do. I don't have a knife. That was on purpose. You're essentially competing for the largest <laughs> oh. uh, peel, and you can, do it, you can do it however you like. So but I'm not allowed to have a knife. <laughs> That's true. That's, okay. He needs a knife, right? No, I think let's do it by hand. I think you should try it by hand first. I'll try Both it by of hand. Us. Yeah. Okay. So, because what, I, what, I, what you want us to do is to do the spiral peel, right? Yeah. That goes all the way around. So, yeah, I, I'm, I can do that with a knife, but I've never tried it with my hand, so. This is gonna be tough. All right, and is there a time limit? Mm, I think it's just whatever's time perfect. Time lemon, time orange. Let's see, I don't, this is not the one that I want. This one's got some, it does have some weird spots in it. But I've already oh, cut yeah. the navel off of that one. That's the one that I want here. They kinda need to be the same size too, okay. so that works. Now, when we grew up, when we grew up. We've grown up. When we were growing up. I think. It was a thing. Watch our show. I don't. It was a thing to uh, take a knife and cut like a hole in there. Squeeze, and squeeze, then, squeeze. And then squeeze it. Drink, and, drink, and drink. Suck the oranges and then just throw the whole thing away. Did you guys do that? No. Nope. Orange they, juice. They used to stick peppermint sticks in oranges, though. I think, and you could like drink it through the peppermint stick, maybe. Well, you can kind of. You really? can stick. If yeah. you do it right, you can stick a, a straw in there. Definitely. I don't have any fingernails. Yeah, I don't either. You got more than I do. I cut mine yesterday. I bit mine this morning. Hmm. Uh, okay, so this is not necessarily a race, but. This is just about yeah, getting it going and keeping it intact. And whoever has the longest orange peel is the winner because that means that you kept it small. You know what I'm saying? The, lo the longest piece of peel that you can get. Oh, I get it. Oh gosh. Now. We should also talk about something while we do this. Well, that's gonna be impossible. Uh, when I was in the shower pe uh, trying to peel my orange, I just started to resort to biting the orange open. Um, because the more, the less meticulous you get, the more, the more carnal it is, the more uh, animal, <laughs> the more animal you get. Now, I will say, I didn't share this, but uh, grapefruits are technically acceptable because it's also citrus. And I bet you can probably do a, what do you call those things that you have in your, in your yard? Pomelo? Pomelo? Uh, those are probably accepted. Do you eat those? No. You have like, I mean. I told Lily the, to. The other day, I went over to your house and in the front yard, the kids had gathered like they play sports with them. 50 of them, and they were yeah, throwing them across the the, uh, the street. So n nobody likes the taste of them? A lot of times, like, tree fruit I'm ashamed to say isn't, I, isn't great. I haven't tasted them, but... Like, trees that are just, like, in your yard, and they're not, like, cultivated in the right way. Like, we had an orange tree in the uh, yard of the first place we lived out here, and the, and the oranges were, like, super bitter. Oh, yeah? But, um, but still people would walk by and steal them. Oh, yeah. I, I had a confrontation one time. With an orange stealer. What did you say? Cause I was like, hey, buddy. I think you talked about it. 
on a GMM one time. You like from the comfort of just peering over your center block wall, you confronted the guy. Yeah, because well, we our old house was uh, right next to a to you a park. You should keep going too. Oh man, you got you got a tight curl there, bro. Yeah, I do. <laughs> keep it loose. Keep it tight. Um, I uh, now if it breaks loose. Oh gosh, it's about to. Yeah, then you're in trouble. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh it's so close. Okay, stay together. Golly, that was really close. So I, um, it was right next to this public park. So in in the in the Orange Streets hung out into the uh, in basically into the public place, and there was a lot of uh, interesting characters in that park at all times. And so I assume people took the the. Uh, oh! <laughs> all right, Neil. How'd that happen? Keep her going. Let me see if that didn't happen. Well, listen, how long mine would have been? Mine has a, mine has a very very breakable point in the middle, so you still stand a chance to to win. Just I mean, it could break at any moment. I I, I employed a new technique, and I I shouldn't have hired that that, that technique. I shouldn't have done it. But I'm still gonna piece this together as if it were one to see wh how I could. Oh, that's not good. The truth of the story is, though, that I kind of backed out a little bit. I was like, it's cool, man. I mean, I don't really eat them. But you... I made friends with him. But the starting was confrontational, and the ending was friendship, a budding friendship. I was like, anytime you want oranges, man. <laughs> really? I don't remember. I don't remember all the details. I like it when that part comes out. That means you've really done it. <laughs> but now we don't have, I don't have any fruit trees. What is that? Feel fruitless. My life is fruitless now. This shower orange thing has really made you existential. All right, I'm done. Oh gosh, I just squirted myself. All right, look at you. Okay, this is all intact, but it oh. is that's hanging on by a thread there. That's impressive. So, man, maybe. <laughs> yeah, thanks for clapping, Chase. <laughs> Mine came apart in a couple of places, but that's not the point of the game, right? Now, would you like, now, congratulations, Rhett, you beat me, but I think you would have beat me anyway. Because right up here, it didn't get that longish. Yeah. Now, I would take this into a shower. Look at that, that would be, that's, that would be great. What, that's a different type of orange. Look at that. No, that's why I won. Look at that. You gotta know how to see, pick your oranges. I, I don't wanna eat this because I'm not in a shower. Hold on, uh, let's, let's see what the differences are because this almost looks like a grapefruit. I may have just cheated. I picked it from the same group. Bushel? <laughs> yeah, same. Yeah, your, yours was much easier to peel. Here, give, uh, just, here, take you can a look at the outside. Take a perfect piece like this and give me a perfect piece of yours. You, you wanna take that, I don't wanna handle all of your pieces because I'm a little under the weather. Yeah, your your uh, no, your orange doesn't stay together as well as my orange. Yeah, I know. The, it's different. It's a the different odds breed. were stacked against me. It's a different breed, guys. Now, there's some orange expert out there who's like, "Well, the difference is this." Comment that, please. <laughs> so you got them from the same batch? Yeah. Hmm. Well, they're not. But that's interesting. Yours are good though. That's a good orange. Oh yeah. Now. Think about the beauty of the orange as a thing. Like, just think about rolling up on one of these things if you you never knew they existed. Think about the beauty of an orange as a thing. <laughs> Your orange tastes better than mine. I give you that much. But this, but there's something. This has a little hint of grapefruit yeah. in it. Maybe it's a crossbreed. You know, sometimes it's been genetically crossed. No, sometimes just get two different fruits getting close to each other makes them hybridize. But when I ask you to think about the beauty of the that orange, with people too. you didn't even do it, man. You didn't even do it. Just do it. Do what? Think about the beauty of an orange, as if you rolled up on one for the first time ever. But it probably didn't look like this back when you could just discover it. Everything's a GMO. Everybody who's like- Fine, Rhett. Make it complicated. Everybody who's like, oh, GMOs are bad. Well, You're, you're robbing yourself of, of a happy guys, moment. Every freaking fruit and vegetable that you eat is a GMO. It has been gen genetically modified through generations of breeding. <laughs> generations, I'm sure. Now, sure, when Monsanto gets involved, maybe it gets a little sketchy, but I'm just saying that 
every single crop that you enjoy has been genetically modified. Hello, Rhett. Rhett, are you what? there? Let's get some comments now. <laughs> Let's get the comments going now. Rhett, are you there? Hello, pick up. Pick up. Pick Hello? Up. You'll never guess what I just discovered. Huh, what's that? It's this thing, it's really juicy. And it's, it's an orange. It might be genetically modified, but I don't care because it's amazing right now. Yeah, that's the spirit. Oh my goodness. That's the spirit, don't care. Thanks for sticking around for Good Mythical More. If you wanna watch more, well, we don't have Good Mythical More More, but we do have a lot more videos. Here's two of them. Also, click the circular channel icon to subscribe.